My name is Paul Mwangi Karioke. I'm from Jeremic Ministry. I'm here to bring a word of hope, a word of courage, to somebody who may be going through difficult time. And the question which I want us to answer, what do you do when you feel abandoned or when you feel forsaken? To be forsaken is a situation where you had a lot of expectation on somebody, then you are left alone. When you read the Bible, you realize that there are people who felt forsaken and more so to be forsaken by God himself. But the Bible says that I'll never forsake you, neither will I leave you. Deuteronomy chapter that one from verse 6. The Bible says that I am the Lord, I'll be with you. I never forsake you, neither will I leave you alone. The same word were, were, were confirmed by Jesus. The book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. Look, I'll be with you until the end of ages. And then Paul reminded the church of Hebrew that I'll be with you until the end of ages in the book of Hebrew chapter 13 and verse 5. But when you look at the life of the patriot, you find them in, in situations they could not understand. A very good example is Job. The Bible in the book of Job chapter 19 verse 6, he, he cries that I'm crying but there is nobody who is willing to listen to me. God has put a net I can't move. My children have died. My brother have forsaken me. My wife is telling me to cast God. He, 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 he even go ahead of talking about his health. That it seems that nobody is with me. I'm all alone. The man of God by the name Elijah. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 4, after the experience of Mount Carmel, where people knew Jehovah is God, he found himself in a situation as if he had been abandoned. And he cried, Oh God, allow me to die. That was the last option he had. When you go to the New Testament, John the Baptist, when he was thrown in the, in the prison by the king, he, he sent some people to go and ask Jesus, are you the one we have been waiting? Because Jesus could not go to visit him in prison. Are you the one or we should wait for another one? Remember, this was a cousin of Jesus. John number two is the one who baptized Jesus. John number three, he said and proclaimed, this is the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of humanity. But during the time when he really needed Jesus, he felt that Jesus was not closer to him. He, he felt abandoned or forsaken. Even Jesus himself, in the book of, of John chapter 19, he, he cries, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Probably, brother, you might be feeling forsaken. Maybe you are going through a divorce process. You are mourning the love of, uh, you, you are mourning somebody who you love so much is no more. Probably you lost your job. Your dreams are scattered. You, you are addicted in some characters or some drugs. You feel nobody cares. You, you, you are traumatized. You are sick. You got an accident. Does it mean God does not care? He cares. What should you do then when you feel in such situation? Number one, be alone with God. When you feel people have forsaken you, there is somebody who will never leave you alone. This is God. Have time to be alone with God. The book of John, the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 23. When evening came, Jesus was in the mountain alone. Number two, when you feel a burden, trust in him anyway. Job, after his cry in the book of Job, chapter 19, in verse 25, he says, I know my Redeemer lived. He confirmed and affirmed and reaffirmed that he can still trust in him regardless of the situation he was in. Number three, take time to read the word of God. There are more promises in the Bible. Fear not, for I will be with you. When you pass through the water, the water will not drown you. When you pass through the fire, the fire will not burn you.